Hey all, uh, today I'm going to be uh, taking a look at installing uh, Fedora 18 64 bit in uh, VirtualBox. And uh, as already noted here, uh, the alpha version is out. We're not going to try that one. Uh, Schrodinger's Cat is one of the names that I've seen thrown around as the code name. Uh, this one is called Spherical Cow, the one we're going to install. The one before that was Beefy Miracle. So looks like they're continuing the tradition of uh, unique code names. <laughs> so we'll just uh, you can download. It says download now. Let's go to the download section here. And there's uh, well, we'll go back here. More download options. Uh, the their flagship, I guess, would be the GNOME one. That's the one I downloaded, and I got the 64-bit ISO. It's 916 megabytes, and there's KDE, LXDE, and XF, XFCE to choose from. Um, what else can I say? This uh, I like this page. This is really done, well done. Um, everything up front, download now, uh, installation, recommended requirements are listed out. More requirements, full set of download options, and you know information and little tour four screen tour so yeah all right so let's get started uh, I'll open a virtual box and we'll just uh, do our usual thing uh, start just type start typing in the name of the system it's already picked it up and 64 as you see here version 64 bit so I'll hit next as usual, I'm going to give it more RAM, 4096, approximately 4 gigabytes of memory. Uh, create a new hard, virtual hard drive. And I'm going to give it um, 30 gigs. It's my usual size that I use for uh, testing out. And before that, go to settings and make a few adjustments. I got a system. I'm going to give this four processors. Uh, don't try this if you only have one. <laughs> uh, display, 128 megabytes of RAM, enable 3D acceleration. Under storage, where it says controller colon IDE, go to empty, and then where it has this disk icon, choose usually user. It's in my downloads folder. There it is there. And 460, 960 meg ISO. So you click open and press OK and press start. And we'll just uh, hit enter. And give it some time to boot into the live session. And it should give us an option to install or to try. It's a good idea to always try just in case, you know, uh, if your internet it doesn't pick up your internet for some reason. Okay, so we're at the live session screen you just uh, click that or just press enter on that um, icon and then uh, just wait again or to load and it says install or try so go to try and it's giving you a reminder here uh, when you want to install click this icon choose install to hard drive so we'll just close that it's in the activities overview so which is here There we go. Take a look around. Take a look at Firefox. Um, I don't know what version this is. Pretty uh, old. I, well, not old, but yeah. We're at version 20 now, but uh, that's 17. And so we know the Internet's working. We're at uh, Fedora start page .org. Uh Date and time looks correct. So, okay. So we'll just go on to click the icon install the hard drive and give it some time to gather the system information and the installer is called Anaconda as you can see at the top I don't know why it doesn't have a or there should be an icon it looks like there should be an icon there anyway so pick your language and press continue at the bottom right okay Installation, destination. Uh, well, obviously one. 
and you have an option here. I'll zoom in, encrypt your data. If you wish, or let's look at the full summary. And if you want, if you had another hard drive and a live install, you can set the boot device to another hard drive. So set as boot, close, and I'll and then just press continue. And it gives you another warning. Just press continue. It's going to erase, erase whatever's not on there. And okay, now it's ready. So begin installation. And before, as I mean, it's installing. We'll type in something for a password. It doesn't have to be too much here. And press done. It'll say, oh, that's not strong enough. But again, it doesn't matter. Virtual machine. And that's all we have to do on this side of the installation. So I'll pause the video when this is uh, ready to reboot. I mean, I'll pause the video and be back when this is ready to reboot. Okay, we're back. Uh, it didn't take too long. Uh, so it's ready to uh, quit, it says. Um, interesting. I guess a typo, eh? Ready for. Should be ready. Space for. Okay, so <laughs> press quit. And... Uh, Usually I would uh, reboot, but I'm going to power off the virtual machine because it doesn't release the ISO image, and it's going to just keep there it is. So I'll go back into settings under storage, storage under this IDE colon um, controller ID uh, part and release it. So I'll go to the disk icon and remove disk from virtual drive. There you go. Okay, now we're on to the second half, so we press start. Okay, now we're on to part two, so welcome. And forward at the bottom right. Uh, understood, please proceed if you understand this. So if you want to read through that when you're installing, you can. And go forward and create a user. So whatever. Add to administrative group if you want to install anything. <laughs> Again, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Need more control. That's fine. And forward. I think it's going to ask you for uh, network time. Yeah. So we'll just, uh, when you hit finish, it's going to go out and grab these. Uh, the server. Start the server. And then continue that's it I think it's finished I remember correctly yeah so now we log in type in the password just made much quicker than I remember and with any luck we'll have a desktop thank you okay so everything's uh, Fedora 64-bit is installed in uh, VirtualBox by all accounts. Now, of course, we want to get the VirtualBox guest editions and update the software. And there's a ton of updates. Um, I haven't done too much looking around. And I can't remember from the last time I had this installed. But we'll just open a terminal. So we'll go to Activities and start typing Terminal. There it is. And uh, we'll go up. Instead of uh, in a Ubuntu, it's uh, sudo apt-get. Uh, this would be sudo yum. Oh boy, I can't. Y U M, and just update. And your password. First time you get that message. And there we go. So it's pulling down packages. I mean. For update, that's what it's saying will be updated, and then I think it will ask you if you want to do this. Yes, and it's 544 megabyte download and install. Um, by default, I notice that Fedora in the terminal has the Y as a small letter and N as a capital. So if you pressed enter, it would default to no. So you have to actually type Y. That's all. And Setting up and reading Presto Delta Metadata. I'm not really sure what that is. Fedora users can tell me. And uh, 
I'll, obviously I'm going to pause this, so I'll be back when this is updated. I uh, imagine a reboot's required because it's been a few months since this has been released, so I'll be back when this is ready to go. Okay, that took a while, um, almost uh, close to 20 minutes to uh, do its updating. A download didn't take too long, but the uh, updating and verification and cleaning up process, but that's Fedora. So uh, we'll just do a sudo reboot. Password and uh, see what's uh, new in the uh, after the update. There we go. Back to our desktop and we'll activities. We'll open Firefox. Check which version it is now. I think it's updated to 20. I'm not pretty sure. Uh, about yep, version 20. So that's pretty fairly up to date. Now, the thing about Fedora is it doesn't have like cutting edge updates. Like this is uh, GNOME Shell 3.6, and uh, probably not until whatever the next release is. Uh, it'll be 3.8. I'm not sure about that though, but probably. Uh, but there's a lot, lots of stuff you could install uh, before installing. Uh, VirtualBox box guest editions. I'm going to install Fedora. I'll call it 18 utils. There we go. The instructions are right here, right at the beginning. To install Fedora utils, it's this. You take this whole command and then you right click and copy and open a terminal. I'll just I'll configure keyboard shortcuts. So it's super user. So I think it's a super user password, I believe. Oh, I guess I already did. Okay. And then, whoop, this one asks you to install it. Which is the yum installer. Yum install in the name of the package. And, oops. Oh, whose idea was it to? Have less menus. Okay, so and again, you have to type the letter Y. It's not very big, of course. I hope. Yep, it's fine. Installing Fedora Utils, and it's done. Okay, while we're in the terminal, so I can. Uh, address some of this, uh, some of these issues of uh, getting around navigation is uh, sudo yum install uh, gnome dash tweak. I think it's just tool, not tools, it's without an S. Letter Y for yes. Type exit. Okay, we'll close this for now. And we'll go to activities, uh, utils. There it is. Fedora utils. Your, just your regular user password. It comes up with the terminal in the background. Uh, you have option essential tweaks and tasks, additional software, repositories, miscellaneous, etc. So the first one is select. And uh, you can choose from So I'll hit select and it goes through the command line. I'm not sure if it prompts you for anything. Okay, this could take a while depending on my internet. I'll, I'll pause this and I'll be back when this is uh, ready to go. So when it's finished, you can review and you can look at uh, stuff that wasn't enabled before. should be enabled now as, as it shows you here. Uh, flash plugins in installed. So, and I guess there was no updates. Okay, so we'll go back and additional software. And you can choose from uh, Android SDK, Arista Transcoder, Google Chrome, Cinnamon Desktop, and what's under miscellaneous? 
unblock, whatever, clean system. Yeah, okay, clean system. Select. Uh, delete junk. Okay, I don't want to duplicates. Yep. Uh, backup I don't need. Virtual machine, you can be a little more, you know, liberal on this. Erase bash history, that's fine. Trash, there's nothing in there, but delete Fedora, utils, logs. I'm not, I'm just going to leave the kernel though. Select, and it should, wasn't much there, so back, and back, and close. And press OK, and it closes the terminal. So uh, Fedora Utils, pretty handy. I think there's an option to install video card drivers as well. I think it'll pick it up. I'm not sure. It'd be nice if it had uh, one to install VirtualBox Guest Edition. So, <clears throat> Okay, so we'll go back to uh, the web. And it'll be Fedora 18 uh, Virtual box there it is guest editions you can usually find some really helpful stuff on the internet here install Let's see what this looks like so pre-installation setup so it's sudo yum install gcc kernel developer and dkms okay so just copy this line again so we'll just uh, right click and paste press enter password oops i might have that was the wrong password. There we go. 122 megs. Okay, so that first part's complete, and we'll go on to the next one. So we have to mount the media. So we go to Vice, install guest installations. This is from within Ubuntu, so there it is. Okay. Uh, and as per instructions, we just press cancel and we go to the command line again. Which, did I close it? No, I didn't. Okay. So it's a uh, change directory to this. Okay. And then this command here, sudo. I'll put these links in the description if I can. If not, I'll just upload the notes. And paste, enter. So sudo reboot. Okay, usually you usually can tell uh, when VirtualBox uh, additions are installed is the screen is much bigger now. So we'll log in. Let's go back to Tweak Tool. It will be the last thing you can uh, do. Then you can, uh, you know, up to you what you want to look at through the software. I think that's about all I would uh, I'm going to do on that. So shell extensions. We don't have any. It says get extensions. So if you click that, it should open Firefox, which it is. It should take you to HTTPs colon slash slash extensions dot gnome dot org. And you can pick and choose what you want. So weather is usually pretty handy. So you know what the, the weather's like outside. Look on the screenshot. All you do is press this button on. Install. And there it is there. You can Go to weather settings, you can add a city and other options. Okay, and close that, and I think that should cover it. Uh, I went a bit longer than I thought. Um, like, I really enjoy uh, Fedora, actually. I do use it quite often on my main system as well. So, um, if you want to give Fedora a spin, in VirtualBox, uh, hopefully this helps you out a little bit. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.